Hey everybody, it's Angie. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and are looking forward to something really fun to do for New Year's Eve. Um, I'm hosting a party and so um, the party is happening tomorrow. I'm going to be really busy tomorrow cleaning up and cooking hors d'oeuvres and getting ready in time. But um, So today I just wanted to post a quick video on a New Year's Eve eyeshadow look for hooded eyes. Now another problem with the hooded eyes is that if you use really glittery sparkly eyeshadow from your eyelid all the way up to your eyebrow um, it doesn't really look very good. It tends to get stuck in all the creases and sparkle right where um, right where your eye folds forward and it catches the light and you really don't want to accentuate that part of your eye. So what I do when I want to have just a little extra sparkle in my eyeshadow is I use my matte shadows but I apply some other sparkly shadows over the top just in limited amounts in small places where I want the sparkle to be. So in my case I want the sparkle to be right on my eyelid and sort of to the inner corner of my eye and also right above my brow. So I have a couple of products that I apply there. So let's get started. All right, so here's the one eye. This is what the final result is gonna be like. So you can see a little bit of sparkle there and there's a little bit of luster up here and a little bit on the cheekbone. Let's get started making this eye match this one and then we'll be ready to go to our New Year's Eve party. I'm going to be using three colors from this. Um, you can see when you hold it up to the light, some are quite shimmery and some are fairly matte. So I'm going to use this one in the top right corner. That's going to be the first color. To start, you just want to take your medium puffy brush for applying the lighter shadow. Pick up some color on the brush. With the hooded eyes, it can become difficult to apply the eyeshadow, especially um, where it's crepey a little bit. So what I like to do is kind of lean my head back and almost half close my eye and then it tends to keep my eyelid stretched out, smooth, sort of taut uh, piece of skin to work on, almost like it's young again, even though really it's not, so you don't get those weird lumps. So I'm going to be going like this when I apply the shadow, so it's going to look weird, but it tends to work pretty well. And I'm going to put this all over the eyelid. I'm going from the lashes all the way up to the eyebrow. And again, because the skin is so crepey, I just like to use a really light touch with this. All right, so now for the second color, I'm going to use this brush, which is almost the same as this one. It's just slightly less puffy so that it gives you a little more control to put the color where you want it. Okay, and then the second color I'm going to use is this one right here. It's kind of a mauve gray. This is going to go um, sort of on the outer corner of the eyelid and then up and then over. So I'm not going to put any of it on here, this is going to stay light. I'm just going to go here and then up here and then angling down towards the inner part and the crease. If you just raise your eyebrow up a little bit, it pulls that skin taut. And again, with hooded eyes, you can apply your makeup a lot farther up towards your eyebrow because when you let your eye relax, a lot of it just gets folded inside that hood. You kind of have to put it up a little bit higher and you have to really make sure that you get it on right above the crease because that's where you need to create the illusion of shadow or darkness so that the problem is when you open your eyes and the skin folds down, apart from up here is the part that's sticking out the farthest and when the light hits it, it looks lighter. So you have to artificially darken it. Anyway, we're just I'm just concentrating right here on this part because that's the part that needs to be that you need to create the illusion out of. Right there. Okay. So I just want to make sure that that's nice and round. And you know if it's not perfect, it's alright because you are going to blend. So that's it with that brush. Now for the third and darkest color, I like to use this kind of brush with the little hard sort of bullet tip so that you can really control where you're putting the eyeshadow. So for this one I'm going to use that nice dark smoky gray and it's going to go kind of the same area as the one we just did only um, a little tighter, a little tighter of a line. So it's not going to go up as high and um, it's not going to go down as low. Right there and then up 
So it's all going to be kind of contained inside the medium color. And I'm just kind of pressing it in where I want it to go. Okay, now see how when it's folding in? Now this part looks a lot lighter. So we need to get a little bit more dark color. Like it almost looks like it's it's good here, then it's too light here, then it's good here. So it's like right there. And you have to do a lot of back and forth when you have a hooded eyes like this to get the color in the right spot. Round out there. Okay, and then of course, you know, we're gonna blend this all. So it's okay if it's not perfect to start with. So then I'm just gonna take my kind of bullet shaped puffy blending brush and then basically you kind of just blend everything together. Making nice, nice soft edges at the top. You can draw it out a little bit and blend it. All right. And now it's all blended. It's nice and soft and subtle. So then I go in with the medium color that I did and just do a little eyeshadow right underneath the eye. You don't even really have to pick up any more shadow from there. You can just select, use the leftover from what was on your brush before. So you just go in right underneath the lashes. And then just extend it up to connect what you did. All right. Like that. Okay. So it seems like this light part, a little bit of the gray color, but you can still see that it's lighter here and then it gets darker and then fades darker and up. Okay, so now how we're going to add the sparkle is I have this little pot of uh, Makeup Forever Aqua Cream in shade 13. And this is just a really pretty, um, like, taupey, pinky, peachy kind of shade. And it has a lot of shimmer. Um, so basically what I do is I just take a little bit, tiny little bit on my fingertip and I'm just going to start on the inside and just place it right there on my eyelid where I want just that little bit of shimmer. I'm just going to run that across. And I like to do just a little bit right in at the inner corner just to give that a little brightness and light. I went a little too high in this upper corner here, so I'm just going to dab it off with a Q-tip because it's a little too shimmery right there. All right, and then we'll do some eyeliner. So for this one, I'm going to do both the water lines and then upper and lower in black. So I'm going to do the lower water line in this silver one. Um, I'll note below what it is so you can just read it. I'm, I can't see these, so, okay, so you're basically just going to line the water line okay so that gives the inner lid a little lightness and sparkle which makes your eye look a little bit bigger and then for <clears throat> the upper water line and the rest of the lining i'm going to use the l'oreal extra intense um, pencil liquid pencil liner and i love this because it's super waterproof you put it on your water line and it stays which, um, you know, a standard pencil, you put it up there and then your eye tears and you've got like bleh, junk all over your face. So to do the upper tight lining, you basically just kind of close your eye halfway and look down and, you know, just follow along the inner line of your eyelid. You'll feel, you can feel it with the pencil and your eye starts batting around, but you have to like tell it to hold still. Okay, so see, it's almost like you have on a little eyeliner already, but it's not like the big line on the top. And now I'm just going to do the, the full liner on the bottom. Okay, I just smudge that in a little bit. And then we're going to do the full liner on the top. Okay, so you pull it out and just go right at the base of the lashes really gentle. With this, what I like about this liner is you barely have to touch it and it comes off. It's not like the other ones where you really have to like rub and it makes a big 
ugly line. This one you can get it really tight down in there, which I think is important with the hooded eyes. You have to keep your eyeliner close to your eyelashes, because otherwise it takes up your whole eyelid and then your whole makeup is ruined. It just looks like eyeliner instead. All right, so there it is. Now the last thing we're going to do is put on mascara. So curl lashes up. And then the last thing that I do to add sparkle only where I want it, I want a little bit of shimmer up here on my eyebrow, and I want a little highlight up here on my cheekbone. So I use this. This is Benefit Girl Meets Pearl, and it's a great product because you can just add a little highlight where you want it. So I just take a little bit on my finger, and I just, you know, kind of dab it right up there where I want a little bit of shine and shimmer. And then I just kind of blend it in. All right, and then if I want a little bit to highlight my cheekbones, I'm going to put a little over here and blend that in as well. That is my New Year's Eve makeup, pink and gray, sparkle, subtle shimmer eye makeup. And I'm going to take these out of my hair because it's not how I'm wearing my hair for New Year's Eve. I did see this little hat at a store, and I think I'm going to wear this little hat. I love hats. I'm a hat person. I'm going to wear it probably right here on the front of my hair. I've got this at Claire's, which is like a, a kid's accessory store. I was in there with my daughter when she was getting her cartilage pierced for Christmas. Let's see, would it be better on this side? With the bangs that way? Clips right in. And then I have to fix my hair because it makes my hair puff up in weird ways. So I gotta figure it out. But anyway, there it is. Happy New Year, everyone. Have a great time, and I will see you in 2013.